Foggy Love 5 Elements is my first time watching a Chinese anime. I'm well aware that I cannot use this one animation to judge the output of an entire country, however some relative conclusions can be drawn from it. Hi everyone, welcome to Aniprop. Today we're taking a peek into Chinese animation or Donghua with this 3 episode release of Fog Hill of the 5 Elements. We will also be discussing if this anime will be continued with an episode 4 and when. Let's get into it. Even though Japan is credited with being the masters of animation in Asia, the first feature length film from the continent originated in China. This animation was Princess Iron Fan, released in 1941. It was made during World War II and adapted a small piece of the legendary novel Journey to the West. It is debated that this film actually inspired anime as we have it now. Following this film, the Japanese Navy commissioned its own feature length animation film. Momotaro's Divine Sea Warriors, released in 1945. So, at the very least, we could say that China has contributed heavily to the anime we enjoy today. That said, animation releases from China have not received much critical acclaim in recent decades. There are exceptions, however, and Fog Hill of the Five Elements is one of them. This Donghua has not yet achieved large-scale notoriety. This is outlined by the fact that when I was trying to do research for this video, I realized that there isn't a Wikipedia page for this franchise. I quickly attempted to fix this. Fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes after I submit the page to Wikipedia. And done. Help me edit this when it goes up, please. So the first thing you notice when getting into this Donghua is the background art. It's gorgeous, like a traditional Chinese painting. Traditional Chinese paintings can be divided into two schools. There is the Northern School which resembles that of Western art where subject matter is painted with realism and accuracy in color and perspective. There is also the Southern School which evolved from Chinese imperial calligraphy. This prioritizes brush strokes and has no regard for light sources and perspective. It features a high degree of abstraction where instead of realism, the brush strokes should act as a transfer of the spirit. Fog Hill of Five Elements pays homage to both the Northern School and the Southern School, but takes greater inspiration from the Southern School style. The intro of this anime is clear evidence of this. The lack of perspectives and light sources in the Southern School painting are done so with the intention that the viewer will look into the painting rather than at it. The, su the Southern School prioritizes landscape over people as subject matter. This is on clear display as this Donghua favors these massive landscape shots with tiny people in the mix. The animation also shows a consistent disregard for light sources and perspectives. Interestingly, another animation technique of the southern style is to depict the same subject matter in a painting from multiple perspectives at the same time in the same painting, using mist or fog to separate the perspectives. We see this a lot in Fog Hill of Five Elements, as the same mountain seems to look different from shot to shot. Being a seasoned anime viewer, it took me a while to get used to the dub. I think the last time I watched something with Chinese dub was Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. I quickly adjusted to it however, and recognized that the voice actors do a good job of conveying the emotions of the moment. The traditional Chinese music throughout the show also does a good job of conveying the artistic energy of the creators where immersion is favored to realism. Speaking of the creators, this Donghua, as grandiose as it is, is created by Samsara Animation Studio, 
who famously made these three episodes with only six full staff members. Production started in 2017, so it took roughly three years to create these three episodes. I won't talk too much about the main selling point of this animation, which is the action, because that is self-evident. The action in this show is amazing, and really brings the southern school art style to life in a way I have never seen in the best of Japanese animations. It's clear that the creator, Lin Hun, went with an extremely small staff to ensure that every single frame of the animation transferred the true spirit of the studio and his vision. It's unfortunate that the episodes number so few and take so long to make, but I totally understand why. Samsara Animation Studio and creator Lin Hun has confirmed that a further 5 episodes will be released, but no timeline has been confirmed for this. Fans estimate that we may see this release in summer 2022. I look forward to more of it then. I'm definitely keeping an eye on this one. Thanks for watching today. Subscribe for more updates on Fog Hill of 5 Elements.